brought to you by Kellogg's, the folks who bring the best to you each morning, the widest choice of cereals in the forms you like best. Yours from Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? Now the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a young man affectionately known by all of you who will debut a new series called Overland Trials on another network on February 7th, Mr. William Bendix. It's Overland Trail. I know, we've just been talking about the Finch murder and I got it mixed up. Oh. Overland Trail, not trial. Thank you. <laughs> and now a young lady who is jetting back and forth every week, covering that sensational trial in Los Angeles and doing a magnificent job, Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to say that it's worth traveling 3,000 miles to come back to our publisher panelist, Bennett Cerf. And here's our Dawn Plus panel moderator, one might say our Overland trial, <laughs> Dr. John Charles Daly. <laughs> Well, I'm glad the defendants have all been heard from. <laughs> Meeting will please come to order. We'll be up to our usual tricks with the panel. And we'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program. We'll meet our first challenger after the Let's meet our first challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Evelyn, I... Frank E. <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs. Frankie? Miss. Miss Frankie, where are you from? West Babylon, Long Island. West Babylon? That's right. Long Island. Oh, well, you're practically a neighbor. I'm sure that our panel members are all familiar to. Miss Frankie, the panel. Would you join me over here, please? Tell me, Miss Frankie, do you know how we keep score? Yes, thank you. Do you know how we keep score? We'll let the audience here in the theater and those who are looking in at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, we will tell you that Miss Frankie is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Sir. Miss Frankie, does the work that you do bring you into contact with people? Yes. Is there any product involved in what you do? No. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Frankie. Does it require dexterity or skill, the work that you do? Yes. Uh, is it better to be strong than weak? <laughs> yes. Muscle counts in your job? Or yes. the handling of your muscles? Well, to some degree, I would say. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, would it be considered in any uh, way a sport, the kind of work that you do? <laughs> Is it sporting? No. No, no I don't think so. <laughs> Two down and eight to go. Bill Bendy. A bouncer is sporting. <laughs> Nothing sporting, Miss Frankie. Then there is no Johnny connected with you. Uh... There's Frankie no and one? Johnny. Uh... <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you go to visit people to do what you do? Sometimes. Do they come to you? Yes. Uh, does your work include both conversation and physical contact? Yes. Both? Yes. Does it make the people that you go to or who come to you happier to... Uh... I hope so. Do you give them any advice? Sometimes. You do give them advice? Yes. Uh, is it uh, advice on the, their physical well-being? Sometimes. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you uh, advertise your services in any way? You mean formally advertise? Formally them advertise. In the sense of taking newspaper. Do the people find out about about you through uh, through uh, advertising or uh... ball conference? <laughs> Somebody's going to get an ad out of this. <laughs> no. The answer would be no. No. No? No. It took us a long time, but we found it. Uh, Miss Frankie. Oh, I'm sorry. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. <laughs> Miss Frankie, since you have said that there is no product involved, and yet muscles count, you couldn't be lifting a product or pushing a product. Do you lift or push or in any way move people? Yes. Uh, can both sexes enjoy your moving or pushing or whatever it is? <laughs> yes. Uh, are they apt to be adults rather than children? No. Are they apt to be adults rather than children? No. Ball conference. He pushes kids around. <laughs> Dorothy, we're going to assume that in the phrasing of the question, as you put it, you were not excluding children or excluding I was, adults. I was, uh, I think, thinking of the majority, the most uh, then on logical. That, on that basis, you get an affirmative. You could deal more with adults than with children. Yes. Uh, you, do you touch these people above the waist? <clears throat> yes. Do you touch them below the waist, too? Yes. Um, <laughs> do you, in any sense, need them? K N E A D? Yes. Are you a masseur? No. That's very good. Four out of six to go, Mr. Seven. <laughs> well, uh, oh my, well, you do bounce them about, but you're not a masseur. Uh, do they lie down while you're manipulating them? Yes. People? Uh, do you wear the, uh, something like a nurse's uniform when you're performing these services? Yes. Are you a nurse? No. That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Would your work be therapeutic in any way? Yes. Uh, have you ever been considered a therapist? No. Well, in the general yes. classification... General classification, yes. Uh-huh. But that isn't your job, therapy. Oh, no. you were no, asking... No, I am that saying, no, that is not <laughs> your job, therapy. No, but... John! John! You define the terms of reference of the original question, and you now get a no. That makes it six down and four to go. I know you've been away. You wouldn't know it otherwise, Mr. Bendix. Uh, your job does have a title. Yes. A uh, specific title that's well known to everyone. Yes. Oh! All right, I've got the thing. Tell me about it now. <laughs> yeah. May we have a we have a you may have 15 seconds for a conference. Maybe Miss Frankie is a chiropractor, chiropractor or something a, like this. A, yeah. a, um, you know, manipulate yeah, the is your, is, your, is your job also known, uh, what you or do is also known as a profession? Yes. Oh. Take a chance. Take a chance, Bill. Take a chance. Are you a chiropractor? Yes. <laughs> Very nicely done, panel, I must say. That, uh... No, me, not the panel. I got oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but very nicely done, Bill. Huh? And I just wish you weren't sad. I had a bad with... start, but I finished up all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, you worried yeah. there for a minute. I meant Frankie and Johnny. I... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> then it's supposed to do that. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <laughs> That was very good. I'm sorry you're saddled with those other three, Bill, but you yes, came through. Yes, uh, I'm trying to bear And I must say, Dr. Frankie, thank you for being a great guest on What's My Life. We had a lot of fun. Thank you. Fine for fun. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do with another challenge. Would you come in and sign in, please? John E.
Johnny Lingo Jr., right? Mr. Lingo, where are you from? Delaware Township, New Jersey. Delaware Township, New Jersey. May I present the panel? Lingo, you join me over here. You know how to keep score? Or we keep score, Mr. Lingo? All right, we'll let the folks here in the theater and the audience, those at home, find out exactly what your line is now. tell you that Mr. Lingo is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Lingo, do you work indoors more than outdoors? No. One down and nine to... More conference. but it could be marginal one mm -hmm. way or another. With your permission, then, I'll qualify this. Uh, Miss Dorothy, actually, it's about 50-50, so I think it would be unfair to give you a no answer. It's uh, equally divided indoors and outdoors, so you proceed. John, you're being kind to me because I've been working so hard. Well, Thank I had a rest you. last Sunday, too, and, you oh, know. Oh, yes. All right, so you work indoors and out of doors. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get the no now, don't worry. Uh, do you have, do you move about at all in your work? Yes. Do you have anything to do with travel or communication? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Lingo, you're a very beautifully built gentleman. There's the fact that you have this splendid physique, particularly noticeable sitting next to Mr. Daly. Does this have a... <laughs> this have you ever a, seen the javelin thrower? <laughs> what? Does this play any part in the work that you do? No. None? No. Don't you wish you hadn't been so clever? <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Mr. Lingo, is there a product connected with what you do? Yes. A useful product? Yes. A product that can be found both indoors and outdoors? No. That makes it three down and seven to go, Mr. Bendix. Uh, you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. You, uh... Do you have anything to do with, uh, selling the product that you, uh... Yes. Uh... Do you sell it to, uh, individuals? Sometimes. You also sell it to organizations? Sometimes. Is the product, uh, bigger than a bread box? Yes. Do you transport the product with you when you sell it? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Lingo, you told Arlene, I believe, that uh, this product cannot be used indoors as well as outdoors. Uh, is it therefore an outdoor product? Yes. Uh, is it bigger than a telephone booth? Yes. Is it bigger than a summer cottage at the beach? No. No, and actually, it's a, to be fair to you, it's a little bit difficult here to draw exact comparisons with telephone booths and, and, and homes. If we took total area, we might say telephone booth on a total area basis. Mm -hmm. But this is not to suggest that you should is, assume... Is bulk not involved, John? Bulk? Or is... what the eye sees when it looks at the object? That's well, what here again, it might be necessary to do some quick mental arithmetic and determine the total area of the object rather than its... Um, uh, 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 yes, you see? And that makes it five down and five to go, Mr. Sitt. <coughs> Mr. Lingo, is this product used more in peaceful pursuits than in uh, any war efforts or anything yes. of that sort. Is it a product that is useful rather than decorative? Uh, both. It can be both useful and decorative. Is there any steel in construction in this part? Are you speaking about payola now? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, yes. There is some, some steel. Would this be, uh, would this be, uh, known, could this be known as some kind of a, uh, a piece of construction, like a building or a hut or something of the sort? Would it be considered in that class? 
You're very generous. You couldn't call this a building or a hut if we No, well, a piece of construction. Like a, a, a... Well, give us some more pieces of construction. <laughs> oh, a bathhouse. Or a bathhouse. I that just, you said? I didn't Fine. say it was... Back <laughs> down and parting over the treasure. Is it higher than it is wide? Yes. Uh, is wood in the construction? No. Seven ah. down and three to go, Bill Bendit. Glass? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Is this product used in conjunction with anything else? It's yes. Rather than just standing there. Yes. Does it, um, is it adjacent to or does it support anything? Yes. Does it support anything? Yes. Uh, does it support something quite heavy? No. Not in relative terms, not relative to its capacity to support. So that's nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Could it be used, uh, Mr. Lingo, for uh, possibly flying a flag bomb? Yes. Is it a, do you have something to do with flagpole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just under the wire. <laughs> I will say this, Bennett, since Bill Bendix earlier attacked the issue of selling, it'd be super irrigation to make you drive for the sale, so we'll say that the panel, assisted by Bennett Sir and Bill Bendix, and Bill Bendix. It's done it again. What'd you say, Bill? We done it again. We done it again, that's it. You got it. Actually right, because what Mr. Lingo does is sell flagpoles. They're Aren't custom. they made of wood? I thought that's what I was thinking of. But Steel, I they metal. Of wood. They used to make them from wood. I bet wood. you they're made of glass, too, some of them. Oh, I think some are, but, but Mr. Yet. Lingo's, Mr. Lingo's are all made of metal. We it's went like, over this. They have those new stars. They have heavy up on heavy flag poles. <laughs> what? Since there are two <laughs> extra stars on the flag, they have to have heavy up. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> what does he mean? It's Nothing. a lead balloon. <laughs> Fascinating. All right, on to the show. Fascinating. <laughs> Mr. Lingo, thank you very much. Nice well, to have you with us, sir, on What's My Life. By the way, Bennett. <laughs> By the way, Bennett, knowing your proclivity for the eccentric, if you would like to get one to sit on, a flagpole, Thank you, John. Johnny Lingo and Sons Inc. You're in. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends on the panel, as you all know, blindfold themselves. Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes. Sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? <laughs> all right. As you know, panel, in the case of the Mystery Challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with Arlene Francis. Would one find your name in the amusement pages of the paper? Wow. Yes. Mr. Bendix? Are you female? <laughs> no. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you something, are you known for something other than your work in motion pictures, primarily? That's not a very good sentence, but... I don't understand that. I mean, are, are you famous for something other than motion pictures? I wasn't famous in pictures at all. This is it. I wasn't didn't hear famous it. in pictures at all. Oh, <clears throat> would your fame stem from television? Yes. Miss Francis? Do you have a show of your own? Yes. Mr. Bendix? Is it, uh, is it on every week? Indeed. Miss Gallant? I don't know. Indeed. 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 Uh, do you also make records? <laughs> A few. What? We can't hear that. I've broken a few. I don't, we still didn't get it. Would I can't you... understand you now. <laughs> John, would you interpret, please? We well, hear. the, the question was if you made records. Yes. One or two. Yes would be the answer, Mr. Sir. 
have you the inestimable privilege of appearing on this network, CBS? No. No? Do that at eight to go, Miss Francis. Do you appear on a regular show every week? Yes. Mr. Bending? Is it a uh, Western show? <laughs> it's a wild Eastern show. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Miss Gilgallon. Now, uh, may I have a clarification, John? Mm -hmm. Didn't our guest say that he wasn't famous in motion pictures? Our guest said that he was not famed for his work in motion pictures. That's right. Well, then it can't be Pat Boone. Uh, are you a teenage idol? <laughs> no. That's four down and six to go, no, Mr. Sir. This is not to suggest that our guest is not well known to teenagers and admired by them, but I don't think that we could properly describe him as a teenage idol. Mostly delinquents. Mostly delinquents. <laughs> Mostly what? Mostly delinquents. Delinquents. <laughs> Mr. Sir? Uh, well, we polished off CBS. How about NBC? Does you do you do your show on NBC? Yes. Miss Francis? Uh, uh, have you changed the sleeping habits of America? I didn't mean to. What? <laughs> I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? No. You kid us not? I love you. <laughs> well, there's only one man over at NBC that loves me anymore. You must be he. Jack Parr. Jack Parr? That's right. <laughs> this was Jack's idea, and it's a great idea because he said, I'm not. Uh, enough of an actor to disguise my voice, so he brought a bullhorn That's with him. That's marvelous. Don't you blow through that on the show every once in a while, Jack? Yes, I was the first to do naval jokes, you know. And yes. the... <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happened. I see you. I see you, Jack. I know you're late and I won't stay. No, no. Well, we I want saw you... him go like that. Actually, uh, I'm sure everybody knows this, that uh, Jack and Miss Arlene are, are close friends, that Miss Arlene, when Jack is not in New York and is getting a small rest, very often takes... Jack's place on his own program She's on wonderful that other network whose initials are taboo on this network because they're NBC. Uh, I was fired here. I don't know why they <laughs> You belong in a long and distinguished line. I was fired at ABC, too, come to think of it. Well, I may make that one of these days, well, too. But the way I think, you've got a big uh, spectacular coming up well, this week, first, if I read the press. First one I've ever done, this Tuesday night, 8.30 to 9.30 on another oh. network. And uh, it's the first... Uh, well put together show I've ever done, and I'm proud of it, and I'd like people to see it. Well, Thanks. now, Jack, one thing is, it must be, I know, and I think that most of us, even those who are professionals, are amazed at uh, Jack's ability to put a program together night after night after night from 11.15 to 1 o'clock in the morning. And the critical question must be, uh, do you find putting together a spectacular of such different character that it's, it's uh, a little bit alarming to you after all these years of doing much programs. Much harder. We it worked is? two months on this one show. Two mm, months on Much harder. I, I prefer to do what I'm doing every night. Every night, where you oh, just yes. take it on the wing. Yes. Could I ask you one loaded question? I'd love to sit here and talk about it, but I'm afraid mm. I'm wasting your time. How do you, hand, how do you feel about those, uh, all those commercials that interrupt everything you do on your program? Loving, he feels. Well, it's uh, <laughs> like the yellow pages with music. I know that there's a lot of commercials. I, I know that. How much I can do about it? Sometimes about six of them in a row. Oh, yes, there's many. Jack, I've just come back from Key Biscayne, oh, God. where all they say is Jack Parr brought a plot of land over there, and that's how they're selling all the property in Florida now, oh, so they can be neighbors of yours. Beautiful spot. Oh, just beautiful. Jack, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much for coming thank to you, see us, and good luck thank Tuesday night. We'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. They told me that that was not a speed up, that you were short. Welcome back. <laughs>
We'll just play cards. Come on. I thought he was going to play. You can say the, the, the farewell. Bill Bendix, lots of luck with your new program, Overland Trail. <laughs> and good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Good night, Sean, and good night, Jack. Good night, Phil. Good night, Dorothy. Good night, Phil, and good night to Eddie Bright and all the gang at the courthouse in L.A. See you tomorrow. Good night, Bennett. Goodness, Dr. French, too. Good night, John. Jack. Good, good night, Bennett, and good flying, Dorothy, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line? What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Todman. <laughs>